So the next topic here is uh, the token pattern and lexum in lexical analysis. And this term uh, I've used uh, many number of times that what is uh, the token generator. <music> So the simple definition of a lexical analyzer is nothing but a token generator. But here we want to focus on few more term that is a pattern and the definition is in front of you. A specification of set of string, a rule describing set of lexums that can represent a particular token. What is a lexum? Lexum is a, is a, sequence, uh, a sequence of characters in the source program that matched by the pattern for a token. And what is a token? Token is one unit that we are looking for, terminal symbol or lexical unit of the parser representing a set of string of particular type. Okay. So there are three terms uh, are used here, uh, lexum and the pattern and then finally to token. Okay, so pattern. Okay, so let's come here for the token with the pattern part. So in C language, in C language, there is a rule for declaration of an identifier. Rule for declaration of an identifier. So no, you cannot write anything. We, what is an identifier? I told you that if I write INTA, so A is an identifier. You cannot randomly write anything. So what is the rule over here is um, in C language that it must starts with a underscore or alphabet. So it starts with underscore or alphabet followed by underscore alphabet or digit okay so followed by underscore alphabet or a digit now this is a rule uh, this is a this is this is nothing but the pattern okay this is basically a pattern and here i can represent it and you may be familiar with this part that it must starts with underscore or alphabet a plus b plus z or let's say capital a plus capital b plus z okay underscore or alphabet followed by an underscore or alphabet a plus b plus z or capital a plus capital B plus capital Z followed by underscore alphabet okay this should be removed or zero or one or two up to nine okay and we can have any number so now uh, this uh, this must be familiar with you that this is looking like a, a regular expression so here what I have written here um, here what I have written over here is is uh, it should starts with underscore or alphabet just to take this part out so a plus b plus z or capital a capital b plus capital z and uh, followed by it uh, there can be an underscore alphabet part or digit part zero one two up to nine so this is the idea that uh, it, it should be followed by underscore alphabet or a digit fine so now this is your uh, it's a pattern okay so we want this to be pattern so with this if i say that this uh, is is this is a uh, a is a valid uh, a is a valid uh, pat uh, identifier not right? yes a is a valid identifier and if i say uh, let's say emp impl emp is a valid identifier or not so yes it is starts with an uh, alphabet followed by underscore alphabet or digit so yes emp is an identifier whether if I say that for num is an valid identifier, so I'll say no, this is not a valid identifier because it starts with a digit. So this, this is the rule. Huh? Pattern is nothing but, as now I can say that the pattern is nothing but the, the rules. Okay, and here I think they have some mentioned this term over here. 
uh, describing the set of string rules. So the rules describing the set of string. Fine. Lexum. So what is lexum now? Lexum is something that it says that a sequence of characters in the source program that match by the pattern for a token. So, okay, so there are rules are there. And if that sequence in my source program, okay, in my source program, if that sequence follow that pattern, okay. So the moment I will write a program and I'll say int a, and the moment it will see the a, then it will say, okay, yes, this a is following this particular rule. Okay, this this is the rule that this one is following. And uh, then in that this A is following this particular rule. There can be many other different rules. But now A is following that particular rule. So now A will be termed as your lexum. So a sequence of character in the source program that match by the pattern or followed some rule. So now we have a rule. And now we have a sequence of character that is following that particular rule. Last thing is the token, the terminal symbol or lexical unit. Okay, so now we have a terminal symbol or the lexical unit of the parser representing a set of string of particular type. So now for A is following the rule. If I say uh, int employ id, so that is also following the rule. If I say float pi that is also following the rule so now but but if you see that all all of them are following a single kind of rule okay now here what is important here that your a employee id and let's say float pi variable name all are following all of them follow single pattern or rule okay so they are not following multiple multiple rule or uh, multiple means they their categorization or their 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 classification is same they are all belong following the same category of the rule okay so for same category of the rule terminal symbol lexical so now that that for same category of same category of lexums a single kind of token will be generated kind of token will be generated Okay, so now I, we, we, we can say that this is one lexical unit identifier. Okay, now this this identifier is one lexical unit. This is your one lexical unit. And there can be many different units can be there. But here we can say that identifier is your one of the lexical unit. So that's all for this uh, session. Uh, I hope you're clear with your idea of your token uh, pattern and legs. Thank you.